slaves. We all want slaves. But owning people's illegal. And you know, immoral. That's why we get pets. Because a dog can't call the cops when you whip out the peanut butter. So let's talk about which pets are cash and which pets are trash. Starting out with my favorite animal, dogs. Just looking at a puppy can cure most bouts of depression. Look how cute these are. And a dog can prove all aspects of your life. Whether it's meeting a girl, or humping a girl, or in a girl with heavy down syndrome. Yeah. And dogs come in all shapes and sizes. There's large ones, small ones, fluffy ones, crip ones. You name it, we've inbred it. Take a look at my dog, Mango. Mango is a corgi that due to selected breeding is prone to having lower back and hip problems. But Mango also has a mouth that can never say no. So dogs are cash. Next up, cats. Listen, from someone who's owned cats most of his life, I gotta let you know, cats are dicks. You could be having a heart attack and the last sound you'll hear is whiskers knocking over the flower vase. Guess two things are dying today. And cats want everything on their own terms. Don't think so? Then you ever try to pet a cat's stomach? It starts off good for the first five seconds, then they turn on Wolverine mode and start slicing at your wrists. Oh god, I just wanted you to love me! So cats are trash. Next up, birds. Birds are the only animals that can make human sounds and repeat phrases. Depending on the type, their vocab can be quite limited, so let's not waste his brain teaching it. Hey, how are you? And I love you! And start teaching it some thought-provoking stuff. Just think about all the fun conversations you'll have with fam on Thanksgiving when your parakeet blurts out. What? Not in the butt, Steve. Not in the butt. Are you trying to give Grand Grand a heart attack? Or during that intimate moment when you go to make the first move on your crush in here? Bill Cosby did nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Start having her think twice about what was in that wine. So birds are total cash. Next up, fish. Fish are great if you have no time for animals, but want something cool to look at that won't whimper when you forget to feed it for four days. A fish tank can be a decorative aspect of a room, but most of the time it just comes off that you're lonely. Nothing says this box of condoms hasn't been touched in months like a fish tank at your bachelor pad, where your fish are the only thing getting wet. So so fish are trash. Next up, pigs. Pigs are great because they don't shed, live 15 to 20 years, and when they die, you can forego that coffin for a new Black & Decker grill. How could you eat a pet? Well, it's a lot like going down on a girl. There are better things I can put in my mouth, but it's the only way to stop her from squealing. So pigs are cash. Next up, skunks. The skunk can be used as both a cuddle buddy and a great home defense system. You think there's any chance of your place getting robbed if they see two fart squirrels playing in the backyard? No one would risk opening that window and taking mustard gas to the face. You can't teach a skunk to spray someone. Hey, they I taught Cardi B how to read without biting her tongue, so I'm pretty sure you could teach a skunk how to throw an air biscuit on command. But if you still don't feel comfortable having this furry time bomb waddling around your crib, then you can always have its scent glands removed. Which I'm pretty sure is when a doctor sprays Calvin Klein in his hand and just kinda, just kinda finger bangs it for a bit. So skunks are cash. Next up, sugar gliders. Sugar gliders can be potty trained, but they frequently urinate on their handlers, making them the R. Kelly of marsupials. I believe I can fly. Side note, whenever you Google R. Kelly, a little girl should pop up holding a sign saying, are you sure you want to enter the splash zone. But personally, I'm not into golden showers, so sugar gliders are trash. Next up, snakes. Face it, the only people getting snakes are rappers and white people. Only white people would look at that scaly demon mouth and say to themselves, hmm, I think I'll keep that in my bedroom. Since some animals like dogs show affection, many assume because you feed a snake, that somehow cares about you. When in reality, the only reason it doesn't eat you is because your fat ass is too big. And the only people I want deep-throating me are girls with daddy issues. So snakes are trash. Next up, hamsters. Hamsters used to be more popular, but then queer started ordering this. <laughs> this one's so stupid. Okay. Okay. Hamsters used to be more popular, but then queers started ordering their sex toys on Amazon. No more biting your lower lip at PetSmart as you tell the cashier, you won't need a cage. And some of you are probably like, that's cruel. Is it though? Face it, your choices as a hamster are getting eaten by a snake or being stuffed up a guy named Blake. So hamsters are cash. So those are all the pets that are either cash or trash. Did I miss any? Please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, hamsters die after having sex. Well, at least the one I f did. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button? Oh, push the button. Push the button.